Hey guys, T here. I'm going to very quickly go over how I ate when I was on the Appalachian Trail. So, it wasn't anything real special or spectacular. There are things that I specifically did for specific reasons because of how I am training um, as I was doing this trail and getting ready to compete in a bodybuilding competition. So, the first thing that I really wanted to make sure that I had was enough protein because when you were on this trail, you're not carrying a lot of protein. You're carrying carbs and fat, which is what you need. So I took Humapro protein tablets. I love these things. I've used them for years. Each tablet is five grams of protein. So if you saw any of my other videos, I had a little tiny black pouch right here and I carried these pills in a big baggie and then I would put the day's protein pills in that little zipper pouch. So I just had to, as I was walking, just unzip it, grab my pills and just keep going. So each pill has five grams of protein. So what I would do is in the morning, I would have my oatmeal. I had oatmeal for breakfast, 520 uh, calories is what I had with my oatmeal, and then 25 grams of protein. Throughout the day, when I started hiking, I always made sure that I got at least minimum 1,200 calories in snacks. I did not eat a lunch or stop to eat. I ate snacks all day long. I made sure that I got at least 1,200 calories in snacks, and I would eat a snack and take five protein pills every two hours. So every two hours I was eating something. Um, I would eat anything from Snicker bars. I love Snickers. A lot of people on the trail eat Snickers. If you look at the ingredient panel on Snickers uh, compared to some of the protein bars, some of those protein bars have like so many chemicals in them that a Snicker bar is actually better for you. So I ate Snicker bars and again with the protein tablets. Uh, the other thing that I would eat, uh, I don't have one with me because I ate them all, but uh, just for to show, I would eat these Slim Jims, but I would eat the ones that were a little bit longer than this and they came with the cheese in it. So it was the meat and cheese stick. Um, I ate a lot of those. They're fabulous uh, and they're like 130 calories. So 130 calories, five protein pills um, every two hours. Now, if I did get hungry in between, I, I would grab an extra one. Um, I would also eat these protein bars or a different kind of protein bar. You don't have to get that particular kind. Um, those were mainly what I ate. Protein bars, Snickers, and the meat and cheese sticks. I, uh, I didn't take anything else with me. My deal was just uh, getting enough fat and carbs uh, to sustain energy and obviously the protein pills to keep my protein up. Um, other things for energy, obviously these little tiny butters. Excellent. Rip it open. Squeeze it in. Excellent energy source. Excellent energy source. Oh, Cliff Bars. That was the other thing I ate. Uh, Cliff makes a whole bunch. This is an energy shot. Uh, I I had this with me, I, uh, but I never used it. So because these things are the bomb. I love these things. Love them. So these are called blocks. They're made by Cliff. And the reason I like these is because they have your electrolytes in it. So your sodium, magnesium, potassium calcium, um, and energy. It's got caffeine in it. So there's six in here. So I would just take two um, every like two hours. Uh, if I didn't feel like I needed the energy, then I wouldn't take it. If I felt like, whoa, I just hit a wall, I would take three of them. There's six in a package. Uh, the orange ones were my favorite. Uh, this is margarita, and I haven't actually tried this one, but this one alone has three times the sodium. And the reason you want to keep your sodium intake increased when you're doing something like this is because you are constantly sweating. Your heart rate is constantly up, and you are constantly sweating. Um, I'm drinking a minimum of a gallon of water a day, and obviously you can't carry a gallon jug on the trail. That's too much weight. So I was trying to drink as much water as I possibly could, but I would take the electrolytes and the sodium to help keep me hydrated and also to rehydrate me. Sodium is excellent for that. So, and the other thing that is excellent for that are sodium tablets. So just to give you an idea of how much you sweat out there. I, like I said, I'm drinking almost a gallon of water a day and I'm, I'm pounding the water out there as I'm walking. And there were days that I did not have to stop to use the restroom because I was sweating so much. Despite the amount of water I was drinking my body was just using it to sweat. <laughs> so you really wanna stay hydrated. Dehydration can cause so many other issues that you do not wanna deal with. Uh, so stay hydrated, hydrated, hydrated. These ones are called chews. Um, orange is my favorite. These are great too. You can get these with or without caffeine. 
These ones actually have, they have the electrolytes, but they have branch chain amino acids in them as well. So uh, another great source, loved them. Uh, and there's, I think there's six in here too. So that's, that's basically all I did, people. Um, and then at nighttime, I would have a, a big uh, meal that was at least five to 800 calories, you know, like the Mountain House uh, fettuccine and chicken, which is my favorite. Um, I had another one, which was a three cheese pasta chicken that was good, and I, I ate some of it. Uh, it had a lot of broccoli in it, and I, I cannot stand broccoli. So, ugh. yeah, that didn't go well. But I ate what I could because I knew I needed it. But the protein uh, tablets for me, uh, because of what I'm doing, you, you want to make sure you retain the muscle that you have. And protein and water are vital for retaining muscle. So the other thing that I did do is when I would come into a situation where there was trail magic and I encountered it three times. So, so blessed that I encountered trail magic three times. I ate whatever was there. I ate. Um, of course, I would grab the good stuff, right? So like an apple or a banana, orange, but I would eat the other stuff. The bag of chips, the, the soda, uh, the cupcakes. They had Hostess cupcakes. I ate one, took one in my backpack and ate it later at camp. Um, I ate whatever was there and whatever I wanted. And so that, you know, for me, it was kind of like a cheat meal. Um, but that's, that's really all I did. I just made sure that I had a big, good breakfast, snacks every two hours during the day, um, things for energy to keep me going, and then a big, nice meal at night. You want to take in a, at minimum, at minimum, 2,000 to 2,200 calories when you're doing this trail. Um, you are burning the, the calories like you wouldn't believe. So I left here at 17% body fat and 121 pounds. When I came back, I am at 14.7% body fat, and uh, I was at one seven, uh, 150. 116. I was actually 114 the, the morning after I got back, but I knew my water was all messed up. So I waited a day, um, pounded the water and then weighed in. So I was actually uh, 115 pounds and 14%, 14.7% body fat. So um, it worked like a charm for me. It, it worked out just how I had hoped it would. I retained all of my muscle. According to the sheet, I actually gained uh, 0.2 pounds of a muscle. Um, so excellent. I was really happy with that. Um, I, I hope I can continue to do that again. Uh, yeah, super stoked, but that's all I did. It was nothing special. It was, it was, you know, the big thing for me is you want to make sure you are hydrated and you have enough protein. Vital, absolutely vital. If you're feeling sluggish and it's not even noon, it's most likely because you don't have the energy and you're dehydrated. So uh, here's me pushing water on you. Drink your water. That's it. That's all I did.